Digital Watchdogs Rapid Review back in action. My name is Scott Capaletti. Thank you all for the clicks. Like and subscribe. All that jazz as well, please. I'm here to remind you, you should not wait to strike until the iron is hot, but make the iron hot by striking. Today's topic is one of my favorite topics to talk about in our industry, and that is the Digital Watchdog Spectrum software in a blackjack server. The best of the best. Today, we're going to cover how we search. Now, I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos on Spectrum. There is literally, if I was to just start now and continue and show you every feature, there's two hours worth of features we can get into. We're starting with the search because we know that's what everyone's going to use. Everyone wants a recorder and a software that allows you to quickly search the video you want, get on and off as quick as possible. Nothing does that better in our industry than Spectrum software. Now, am I a paid salesperson that's heavily biased? Absolutely. But I'll let you be the judge because nothing embodies Digital Watchdog's mantra built for users more than our Spectrum software. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to share my screen. Here we go. We are live right now in Tampa, Florida. Now, quick disclaimer, because I really want to show off the speed of our software and servers. I'm using my Wi-Fi. Take a look up here, ladies and gentlemen. There's my Wi-Fi signal. I am in my basement office right now. Two kids upstairs streaming YouTube and doing whatever else on Roblox. Having said all that, you're going to see just how fast this is, even with these conditions. Again, I'm up in New England. This is down in Tampa. Let's get to it. The bottom of your screen is where we do the majority of our searching, the bottom and the right side of your screen. There's about five different ways you can do playback. I'm going to show you all of them. I'm going to end on the best way because I'm a paid salesperson and that's what I do. The first way to do playback is using the pan temporal timeline. You look down here at the bottom of the screen, this is your timeline. Anytime you have recorded data, it's going to show up as lime green. Anytime there's no recorded data, let's say you're recording in motion, you will see black little tick marks down there. Now, check this out. This is where the rubber meets the road, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and move my mouse. Just hover my mouse over the timeline. You could see you get a quick little thumbnail there. That's awesome. But look how fast we can play back. No buffering, mind you. No waiting. I'm going to click. Look at my mouse down here. I'm going to click. When I click, a white line is going to appear. That lets you know when I clicked. I'm going to count it down. Look at the speed of this playback. Clicking in three, two, one, click. Instantaneous playback. One more time. April, three, two, one, click. Instantaneous. Let's go all the way back to March. Three, two, one, click. Just like that. No waiting, no buffering. You know where you want to go. Click on it. We'll take you there instantaneously. Mileage may vary. If you're using a horrific Wi-Fi at the very end of what that Wi-Fi is capable of, yeah, it might be a little bit slower, but all things being equal, fastest playback in the industry, best search and playback in the industry. Now, once you know where you want to go, I have the white line here. You have one of two options to get more information. You can take the scroll wheel on your mouse and you can zoom in. Instead of just seeing March, now the days fill in. You keep zooming in. The hours fill in. You guessed it. You keep going. The minutes fill in. You can dive all the way down to the milliseconds should you want to. You have the same option over here, by the way. On the left side of your screen, you have a plus and minus sign. So you can also control the zoom by using that, whatever you prefer. Once you get to this point, now you really get to flex on how powerful Spectrum is. Because now if you want to go back to 12 o'clock midnight right here, we can do that eh, closer to one o'clock in the morning. But check this out. Without any buffering, without any waiting, I can click and drag if I want to. And now we can watch the whole evening go by. The sprinklers coming on, the shadows skirting across the ground, the look of the clouds in the sky, and we'll watch the sun set just like that. There's, what, 24 hours plus in eight seconds? Quickest playback ever. Imagine you're looking for something. Imagine you're looking for graffiti that happens over here. Gone are the days of hitting play and just doing down here like a 16 times fast forward and not blinking, hoping that you capture what you want. You see what you want. Now you can literally just scrub your way through it. And I was going slow, by the way. You want to get crazy? I can get crazy. Here's the whole month of April. I'm looking for something that happened over here. I click over here on April 1st. I'll even do playback mode while I'm doing it. I can now click and drag. 
Days are going by in milliseconds now. How about this? Let's get to the whole month of April just for fun, just because we can, just like that. You want to go even crazier? You know I do. How about a couple months of data? Again, you're looking for something to happen. You don't know when it happened. You can now slide through months and seconds. The only limitation is your imagination and a little bit of bandwidth as well. But it's the quickest playback in the industry. Nobody can touch us. It is unbelievable. Using that DW Cloud in action, remoting into Tampa from all the way up here in New England, just that fast. You want to go back to live? Hit the live button down here. That easy. Click where you want to go. Zoom in and zoom out using either the scroll wheel on your mouse or using the plus and minus sign. Hit the live button when you want to go back to live. That is the first way to do playback using Digital Watchdog Spectrum software on a Blackjack server. The second way to do playback is the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. There's a little calendar button, a little bit of old school mixed in with new school. This calendar button allows you to control the timeline instantaneously. So for instance, if I want to go back to July, I can now say, show me the 11th. Now watch the timeline. I'm going to click. Watch the timeline. Boom. It shows you nothing but the 11th, a 24-hour period of the 11th. Now, show me 8 o'clock at night. I click on that, boom. The timeline changes to show you the 8 o'clock hour. Now, bring your mouse down to the timeline and select the minute that you want. Again, instantaneous. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to go to June 12th. Timeline changes. 9 o'clock at night. Timeline changes. 9.05. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Fast, easy, simple. That's the way it should be. Next way you could do playback. Let's go to actually uh, two o'clock. We'll get a little bit more activity. We'll click over here. Next way to do playback is using our thumbnail search. Let's say you do have a bad internet connection, bad Wi-Fi, and you just don't have the speed to do the playback that I was just doing. Well, we got you covered there too. Hit this little thumbnail button on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. This pulls up these thumbnails for you. And by the way, if they pull up a little bit small at first, just know you can resize these. Now, what these thumbnails are, are a visual representation of what's happening on the timeline. So now, let's say I, I pull them up a little bit. I'll get less of them, of course. But if I zoom in and zoom out of the timeline, it's going to change the thumbnails. You want to do that CSI Miami scrubbing, but you can't at the moment because of your bandwidth. Well, now you can visually scrub the video just like that. I want to see, for instance, I want to see on just the red car, not the red and the blue car. I click on that thumbnail, it brings you right to that point. Did I click on it? No, I didn't. I click on that thumbnail, it brings you right to that point. Just like that. I click on this one, boom. I want to see the blue car back. I, back. I click on that one, it brings it back. Zoom in and zoom out of the timeline, it automatically redraws those thumbnails for you. I want to see the whole month of June. So again, imagine you're looking for some vandalism. Theater of the mind, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking for some vandalism that happened over here. Pretend with me real quick. I'm looking for it. No vandalism. No vandal. There it is. I click. Now I can see it. I zoom in a little bit. The thumbnails automatically redraw for me. And now I'm one step closer to finding whatever it is that you're looking for. No vandalism. No vandalism. There it is. Click. And just like that, you're one step closer. Keep drilling down until you find what you're looking for. Fast easy, efficient. But that's only the third way. We got two more to go and they change everything. The next way to do playback is our smart search. Let me zoom in a little bit. I want this to really be accentuated for you all. So let's go back to around five o'clock. So the way our smart search works is also different from our competition. Everyone's got a smart search these days. Ours is better and it really is better. You hit the smart search button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. That's going to, let me clear out my work from before. That's going to go ahead and turn on your smart motion search. Now, I'm going to show you analytics in a moment. This is based on pixel change. But even on pixel change, we are the best at searching through these pixels. And again, I'll take the Pepsi challenge any day of the week. Set us up. Let's do a shootout between us and another software. Nobody can search the way we can because the way we work is this. I hit that button right there. A couple things just happened on your screen. 
Let's address what happened on the right side of your screen. Oop, see that flash? Perfect. The right side of your screen is Digital Watchdog saying, we know you're in playback mode right now. You just turned on Smart Search. We want to keep you abreast of what's happening right now live. So when that flashed a moment ago, that's because we just had motion on that camera live right now. At the time of recording, it's 12.51 p.m. You could see at 12.50, we had motion. Now, granted, you could drag and drop this camera over twice, and you can unsync them if you want to and have one on live, one in playback. But our mindset is, there goes some more motion right there. Our mindset is, let's keep what you're actually searching for large and just let you know when you have motion on that camera. So very cool feature. Nothing to do with smart search, so we'll get rid of it. What happened down here is what I really want to show you. You see all that red that just filled in? All that red is letting you know that you have motion on this camera. All those red ticks, all that red over here is letting you know there's motion on this camera. Here's where the smarts come in. You see that my mouse has changed to a crosshair. Drag and drop a box. Now watch the speed here. Let's count it down again. Watch the speed. Keep your eye on all this red down here. I'm going to drag and drop a box. I'll let you know when I let go. And watch that timeline. Drag, drag and drop in a box. Letting go in three, two, one. Look at that. All that red disappears, and it's been replaced with these little individual red slivers. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. All you got to do now is hit the play button and let the software do the rest for you. At 548, that car drove through. At 551, that car drove through. It is literally skipping past. Anytime you do not have motion in that box and only showing you motion that goes through that box, pixel change. Again, analytics are coming, but look at this, 5.53, the software automatically jumps to 6 o'clock. Now, that jump could be a minute, it could be an hour, it could be a year to the user. It's literally going to be a millisecond in between jumps. I changed my mind. You know what? It wasn't this parking lot. It was this parking lot over here. Drag and drop a box. I honestly don't know if anything's going to pop up. Drag and drop a box, and now we'll see any motion through that area automatically skipping past anytime there's no motion in that area and just showing you that. 803, we had motion. 806, we had motion jumping past. Show me anytime that there was a car in the street. Highlight it, give it a half a second to catch up. That's all you're going to see. It's that easy. Let's end over here. It's more dramatic over here. 806, now we got shadows going through. That counts, and that's where the analytics come in. But those shadows count automatically skipping. Look at that. We're almost... 12 hours later, instantaneously, you know what happened. It's a weekend, right? You come in on a Monday, something happened over the weekend. Go to Friday, hit the smart search button, drag and drop a box around what you care about, hit play. We'll get you through the whole weekend in a matter of minutes, not hours. Again, gone are the days of just fast forwarding and watching the screen and hoping you find what you want. Highlight what you care about, and we will just take you there. That easy. No analytics needed, ladies and gentlemen. This is built right in. We can do this with an HD over coax camera. As long as it's an OnViv profile as stream, either through our encoder or through an IP OnViv profile as camera, especially the digital watchdog cameras, this feature works for you on everything out there. That easy. Hit the smart search button in the top uh, right-hand corner of the screen. Drag and drop a box. Go to before the event happened. Hit play. It does it for you. But wait, there's more. So let me go ahead and pause this video real quick. Let me clear out what I did there. Let's turn that off. Now check this out. For the past decade, that was where the presentation ended. On look how good our smart search is based on pixel change. Any of you that have watched our, uh, sorry about that, any of you that have watched the rapid review series that we did on AI knows that we can do analytics now as well. So check this out. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn on the analytics on this camera. Now what you're going to see down here, if I zoom all the way out, is a bunch of yellow on the screen. That yellow is letting us know that we have analytics. What type of analytics? Any one of the things that you're seeing on the screen right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, watch, watch this. This is ridiculous. I don't want to do a search for motion-based. Maybe I have an area with a lot of trees. Maybe I have a lot of false positives. I want to search for just bicycles. I hit the bicycle button, hit the play button, just like before. 
the software now automatically skips and only shows you when there's bicycles in the scene. Just like we did the smart search a moment ago. 545, bicycle in the scene. It automatically will do two bicycles in the scene. It'll automatically jump past that to 614 the next time there was a bicycle in the scene. I mean, it's ridiculous. Look at the speed of this thing. Analytics are hot right now, right? We're all talking about AI-powered analytics, and that's what Digital Watchdog has. We have simplified analytics. We have made analytics easy for everyone. Tell us what you're looking for. We'll do the rest. I changed my mind. Forget bicycles. I want to go into people. Select person, hit the play button. Now you're going to start to see only people walking through the scene. And there we have a person over there. We can break this down by truck, bicycle, motorcycle. We can do plate searches, all that jazz. If you want to see how we can do an AMPR, MMCR camera, I highly recommend go to Digital Watchdog in YouTube. Check out that Rapid Review AI series because we dive into that. We show you how it works. It is amazing. You can do a partial plate. You can do a full plate. You can do a make and model of a car. Show me every Tesla. And it just pops up for you. Easy to use the way it should be. Love this. These are the ways that we can do searches. Is that good English? These are the, all the different ways that we can search using that Spectrum software that I know and love so much. Let's go ahead and bring this home. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. All right. What did we learn today? We learned that Spectrum probably is the best VMS in the industry. We learned that there's so much more to cover, and I'm going to dive into all of it for you. But please, reach out to us. You want access to this exact site? We can probably give you access to this exact site. You want to play around with the software? We'd love to do it. So much more to come. Stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, my name is Scott Capaletti, and this has been your Rapid Review.